Good evening. Tonight I'll be speaking about the Hokodo GS1. Uh, excuse any background noise you hear, there's stuff going on. Um, it's this last brush on the bottom right here. Uh, it is made out of Canadian squirrel hair. And I've been meaning to try out the Hokodo Canadian squirrel hair for quite some time now, so I decided to order one. It's 3,700 yen, which is approximately 32 US dollars with the current exchange rate. I was just, I was actually deciding between the GS1 and the GS2 because the GS2 got a lot of rave reviews and it's actually smaller than the GS1. It and like, I think size wise, it's pretty similar to the Mac 217. And since they only had a 500 yen difference, I was like, why don't I just go for the larger one? Um, I can I can gauge the hair quality better that way. Um, and so yeah, if you can see here, it's quite large and flat. Let me just focus this. Large. It's not, mine is not very tapered, but I've seen people's online and theirs are more tapered than mine. So it really depends on the bundling of the hairs. Like you, if you order it, yours could be a little bit more tapered, but mine is more rounded and the profile view it's um it's not very dense but it's also not very thin either so it's like in me like medium density i would say uh this brush is similar sized to the surat grand <coughs> excuse me canadian squirrel eyeshadow brush that's 55 dollars um yeah so that's the reason why i bought this one i was actually considering the Surat one, but I was like, okay, it's $55, so I might as well just try out the Hokoda one first. And I was actually disappointed with the hair texture and the quality when I first got this. It it doesn't like feel or look special to me at least. Like when I opened it out of the package, I was like, okay, it's soft, but it's not as soft as my Hakuhodo Canadian scroll brush. And the thing I want to point out about this, these hairs in particular are that it has a very slippery and slick feeling to the hairs that makes it feel like it has a lot of conditioner on it. Um, so something similar, like a comparison would be like if you use a ton of conditioner on your hair and then your hair just feels very, very smooth and slippery, but then, okay, I'm not going to get into details. Anyways, yeah, so it just, it just feels like that. Um, Normally, if something is really soft to me, I can't or I don't really, I don't bother to think about like, did they condition the hairs or not? But this one, that was like one of my first thoughts when I opened it and touched it. And, and I've, I've since washed it and used it and it still feels the same. And so I do want to compare it to the Hakuhodo S122. The hairs are... I think the hair color, the hair coloring is around the same. The S122 might be a little bit lighter in hair, but it's definitely softer. And I mean, they're not the same shape, but um, yeah, I just wanted to compare the hair quality. Uh, and then at, next up, I want to compare it to the Koyuto BP35, which is not Canadian squirrel, but it's made out of pine squirrel. And it's the softest pine scroll brush that I've ever owned. So this, that's why I want to compare it. Um, what's surprising is that the Koyudo one on the right is just a tad bit less soft than the Hokoro one on the left. Yeah, um, I've tried pine scroll from other brands like Hakuhodo and Koyudo's beats Hakuhodo's pine scroll out and by, by a larger margin. Um, as you can see, obviously, the hair coloring is not the same. Canadian Squirrel is uh, brighter, while Pine Squirrel is like a darker brown. And yeah, I just wanted to compare those two. Um, and I wanted to mention that Hakuhodo's Pine Squirrel is not soft enough for me. So if you have sensitive skin, I would not recommend Hakuhodo's Pine Squirrel, and I would recommend trying out the Koyudo BP35 instead. Uh, so, okay, I talked about the cons. I do want to talk about the pros of this GS1. There are pros. Um, I don't really 
see it as an eyeshadow lay down brush so much because it I mean it works well for shimmers that's the thing so it works really well for shimmers shimmery eyeshadow and laying down shimmery eyeshadow but the way that I like to use it the best is to just use it by the tips on my crease and so it, I would use it in like a pale a, a perpendicular motion so let's say like my eye I don't know for example my eyes like vertically like this and I would instead of like instead of going like this I would actually go like this on my crease and it works wonderfully for that so I do recommend this brush overall um, but then again I do like Hakuhoto's Canadian scroll more that's just something to keep in mind and it is very soft it doesn't poke my my eyelids at all this GS1 right here um, and yeah so I just wanted to bring that up today and hope this was helpful thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later bye